Hey everybody, we're Larry and Tiz Huck and welcome to today's broadcast. Let me give you a scripture here real quick. The Bible says in Isaiah 55, it says, call on the Lord while yeah. he is near. Mm. Now, what does that mean? Because we know God is God 24 seven. His mercy is fresh every morning. And yet the scriptures yeah. say that we are to call on the Lord while he is near. Mm. There are certain times yeah. on God's appointed calendar that the power of God, yes. the mercy of God, oh. the blessing mm. of God is closer yeah. to us, more powerful mm. than any other time of the year. Yeah. Right now, this month is one of those appointed times. As a matter of fact, God's, the Bible says God leaves the throne wow. and he meets you in your field. Get Ooh. ready. We're going to talk about Bible prophecy mm. and your best is yet to come. You know, it, it, one of the great things about studying the Bible in Hebrew is that scriptures that we've known all of a sudden make sense. Yeah. Call yeah. upon the Lord while he is near. near. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Yeah. Call upon the Lord while he is near. Yeah. Now we know, and, 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 I, and I said this at the beginning of the program, God is God 24-7. Yes. But there are times, and I think, Tiz, you say it the best when you've taught you know, when we lived in Portland, Oregon, and with all of our <laughs> wonderful people up there, uh, you know, everybody jokes that it rains all the time in Oregon. You say, you know, the sun is always shining. Always. It's just, it's hidden behind the clouds. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing, you know, with call upon the Lord yeah. while he is yeah. near. The sun is different. Now that we're in Dallas, the sun is different in August than it is in January. Yeah. It's the same sun, right. but in August on the calendar of uh, uh, the month of August, the sun is closer. Yeah. That's the same thing with, with God's calendar yeah. when he says, call upon the Lord while he is near. Yeah. He's the same God, Amen. but there are certain months on Passover, yeah. on Pentecost, and during the month of Elul, going in the Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, and the Feast of Tabernacles, yeah. God's blessing, mm. God's power, God's mercy, yes. God's financial outpouring is greater. Mm. And of all three, mm. this is the month. Yeah. Of all three, this is the month yes. in which God's blessing is the greatest. You yeah. know, and, and we talk about this all the time, that when, when we started reading the Bible in Hebrew, we found out that God is not a hard taskmaster. Yeah. He's not yeah. wanting to catch us Amen. unaware. He's not wanting to Glory. get you. He's yeah. not wanting to trap you. He's yeah. not wanting to leave you behind. Amen. But he gives us appointments on the calendar. Yes. Every year we know when these appointments are. Yeah. Is there not an appointed time? That's what this means. Every week we have an appointment. It's called the Sabbath. Yeah. That's why Jesus said, I'm the Lord of the Sabbath. It's an appointment of miracles. Yeah. But then three times a year, God comes and if we know about it and we pay attention mm. and we respond, he yeah. opens the window of heaven yes. and pour, just think about I that. Know. The Incredible. window of heaven, the yes. window of heaven. Yeah. Can, can, how sad is it that for the first 25 years of our lives, yeah. we would read, God will open the window of heaven yeah. and nobody told yeah. us when those windows open. Yes. And, and God so wants us to be under that window. Yeah. The next window of heaven, which is the mm. most important window of the entire year, is the time of the Feast of Tabernacles. And so that we don't miss it yeah. during this whole month, yeah. God blows the shofar mm. during the month of Elul, blowing yeah. the shofar and saying, return to me. Yes. Return to me. That's what yeah. Malachi is all about. Yeah. When 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 Israel came out of Babylon and they were praying, they said, "God, how do we how do we guard ourselves that the enemy doesn't defeat yes. us?" 
And boy, if there's ever been a time mm. with this next presidential My election Lord. coming up, the way the world is, if there's ever a time that we need yeah. to say to God, God, mm. how do we get protected from yes. what's out in the world. And we talked last month, the month of Elul right. is an acronym for the city of refuge. That, yes. that when we return to God in our tithes and in our first fruit yeah. offering, yep. God places us. We're in this world, Tiz, but we're not of, of this, this world. world. I, you know, uh, am I praying who's, are we praying who's going to be the next president? Absolutely. Absolutely. Are we going to vote? Absolutely. Absolutely. We have to vote. Yes. You, you, you know, and, and matter of fact, um, ancient Jewish wisdom says if we're not involved with the election, if we have election not involved, we have no right to complain yeah. and we have no right yeah. to receive protection. We need yeah. to vote. Yes. That's the physical thing. Right. But the spiritual thing is Malachi, we need to return to God with our tithes, which we know it is, but our first fruit offering, yeah. and that's coming up, and it's going to be the most important offering we could mm. ever give in our lives, because if we're ever going to enter into a city of refuge and blessing and, and outpouring, it's time for us to return yes. unto God. And you yes. know, you think about it, the book of Revelations, there's so much to teach. The book of Revelation says in these last days of the coming of the Messiah, that we'll return to our first love. love. Yeah. That's the, you go back to Malachi when Israel yeah. came out of Babylon. They said, God, what do we do? And God says, return to your first love. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Don't love your money more exactly. than me. Exactly. The reason why Israel got in trouble and God and, and Babylon defeated them and destroyed the temple is because they said, God, we don't need you anymore. Yeah. We don't need you to be Jehovah Jireh, our Ooh, provider. We can handle it. We can handle yeah. it. And that's kind of what America is saying. And Ooh. that's kind of what the world has yeah. said. We don't need God to be Jehovah mm -hmm. Jireh. But for you and I Amen. who return unto him with our yes. first fruit offering, yes. we are saying, yes. God, we are returning unto you. We're returning to our first love. Yeah. The world loves money. Yeah. Loving money is the taproot of all sin, loving right. money more, more than God. Money's yeah. not bad. Right. Money exactly. is good. God says, I'll open yeah. you up the windows of heaven and pour you out such a blessing. Yeah. But the way we show yes. that we don't love money more than God mm. is just like Israel did in Malachi, yeah. return to him in our tithes and in our offerings. offering, our first fruit yeah. offering. And we're making God our first love, Absolutely. not mammon our first love. Yeah. And then God opens the windows mm. of heaven. You know, and it's so amazing, Larry, that God gives us these appointed times Absolutely. to allow us to draw close to him, for him to draw yeah. close to us, yeah. to fellowship with us and to release his blessings over our lives. Amen. And so when you look at it, it's really not a matter of, well, you have to do this. It's not do's and don'ts. Exactly. This is God saying, I want to bless you. Here's your opportunity and here's how you do exactly. it. Exactly. And you mentioned earlier that Elul is really the month of the bride. The month of the bride, of right, the bride. right. And, and how does that differ? Well, well and you think, you think about it, it, it you know, the, the thing that we love to teach you is the teachings of Jesus are not new teachings. Yeah. When the Bible talks about that we have a, we have a new covenant, Amen. it's not a different covenant, right. it's a refreshed yes. covenant, yes. refreshed by the blood yes. of Jesus Amen. Christ and by the blood of Jesus mm. has brought in Gentiles into it. Yeah. When Jesus talked about the bridegroom and the bride, mm. he's talking about Teshuvah. He's yeah. talking about right now. Incredible. Jesus is the bridegroom. When we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, yeah. we are engaged to the, the bridegroom. Yeah. We're, the, we're the bride, he's right. the bridegroom. And he says, I go to my father's house mm. and I prepare a place for you. Yeah. That's happening right now. Mm -hmm. But while he's gone, he, the father, when they asked Jesus, when are you coming? Yeah. When are you coming for the bride? He yeah. said, I don't know that. Hmm. Only my father in heaven. Now this is Jesus. Yeah. The son of God says, I don't know that. It's a very Mideast Jewish thing. When a Jewish man got engaged to a, a, a bride, 
he would go back to his father's house. We've been in Israel, you can see it, yeah. uh, 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 an Literally. old part of the house, new parts of the house, yeah. not so much anymore, but where, where the son has brought his yeah. bride back and built a, built a place for him yeah. at his father's house. But while the bridegroom is building the place, the father is watch, sending a spy huh. to watch the bride to make sure the bride is being faithful. Yes. The bride is awesome. taking care of the yeah. business of being a bride. Yes. Right now, the f and, and that's why the, the Lord warns us, don't let your oil run dry. Yeah. Amen. This is the whole thing of teshuvah. The bridegroom is ready to come. The bridegroom is ready to come. But I believe in all my heart that, and I'm not saying that, that Jesus isn't coming during this Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. I'm yeah, not saying that's right. not happening. But I'm saying that there, I, I think that if he doesn't come during Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, there, I, the, I know that there's going to be a great outpouring of financial blessing. Yeah. There's going to be a great outpouring, signs and wonders and miracles. Whenever the latter rain, whenever yeah. a revival takes place, there is a spiritual yeah. blessing, signs, wonders, and miracles, yeah. but accompanying that is always, yeah. always financial. Yes. Signs, Absolutely. wonders, and miracles, the end time transfer of wealth. Absolutely. Who is that going to be put in the hands to? For yeah. those of you, and I say this all the time, Tiz and I say this all the time, in ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. coincidence. If you're watching right now, it's because God is blowing the shofar yeah, over yeah, yeah. your life Amen. and saying, wake up. Yes. You know, on, on during, during the month of Elul, there's 30 days. And then at the end of those 30 days is Rosh Hashanah. And God opens, we'll talk about this when we come back. Mm -hmm. God opens the book of blessing and he looks to see how our life is. Has Ooh. our life made a difference yeah. to repair the world, to yeah. tikkum olam? Yep. And then he judges the whole next year's blessing on what we've done to make the world better. And so for 30 days, he blows mm -hmm. the shofar and he's saying, get your first fruit in, get yes. your, get your uh, acts of kindness in, get your charity gifts in, yeah. get them in, because I'm about to seal that book and I'm going to seal it for one whole year. There's a time wow. coming that book will be sealed forever. Yeah. But if it doesn't happen this year, listen to me, the latter rain is going to be Amen. phenomenal. It's not Amen. going to be doom and gloom for right. us That's right. who have returned unto him. This first fruit offering that you send to us and we take a first fruit offering to Israel mm -hmm. is going to bring you and I a blessing that will last till the coming mm -hmm. of the Messiah. Yeah. Our, our announcer is going to talk to you and Tiz and I will be right back.